hey welcome to the video today's video is gonna be a day in the life um i have some stuff on campus that i have to do today it is sunday so i don't really want to be there on my weekends but you know it's just how it is i have to build my own canvas and stretch it for a painting class so that's what i'm gonna go do right now and that should take about an hour and 30 minutes once that's done i got to um jesuit and prime it the classroom that i have that painting class in has like a bucket of gesso so i'm gonna use that instead of my own because i only have like a tiny little tub um so yeah i'm gonna gesso that and then i have to print something out and there's a print shop right next to that building but because i work at the print shop i can get in there at any time so i don't have to wait till like four for it to open i'm just gonna send my print go pick it up and then yeah and then for the rest of the day i gotta do some work but i thought i would take you i am taking off to head to campus i'm just really nervous <laughs> i have only been in the wood shop like once in my whole time being here on campus being a college student and that was spring semester of my freshman year and we were in there one time i built a shelf and then covid happened and then they sent us home security code for our apartment gate is broken literally just saw it it is like cracked in half on the ground okay anyways <laughs> so that's the only time that i've been in the print shop and i'm really anxious i think the reason that i'm so like nervous for this is because um i guess that's like the act of you know you haven't really done this before you don't want to mess it up and it's i'm like building a canvas frame so it's it's not something little i'm like oh i messed up i think i should try it again um it's a little bit more intense like that i want to waste wood i don't want to build it wrong but there are people there that do work at the wood shop so they can help i just don't want to do it <laughs> yeah this this will be interesting i hope that it goes well and I hope that it goes fast. I only really have to use like one blade machine um, and that's to cut the wood and like straight and then um, like to measure it out and then I have to cut 45 degree angles on it so that's all I'm doing and it's not it shouldn't be that intense and yeah I like I'm using like a nail gun and staple gun. I think it, it'll be fine so <laughs> but the faster I get it done the faster I get everything I gotta get done on campus and the faster and sooner I will get to I don't know if it made any sense. I'm just rambling, I'm really nervous. It feels really good outside. Um, it's 71 degrees and it's sunny. There is some wind and I have some beef with the wind because it's always windy here. And the wind is just, it's so intense sometimes. I don't think I mentioned it, but um, the canvas that I have to build is 36 by 27. So it's like a medium-ish size canvas. And I think I only have to do it once because I think it's optional, like whether you want to like build another one. And I will not be building another one. This will be the last time. <laughs> um, because then it means I have to go buy more like canvas cloth. And they actually provided it for us in this class. So that's kind of nice. Um, so yeah, I will check in with you guys later. Here it is. I did it. It took me quite a little bit. <laughs> Okay, wow, that I'm glad is done. I spent like two hours on it. I spent like two hours in there because the first like 20 minutes of it, I didn't know who was an assistant and who wasn't. And then because like the main director, I guess, of the wood shop wasn't there today, they didn't really know like what I was building other than like the canvas. They did help me with the miter saw. That's the saw I was most worried about. That was probably like the hardest part of it was just sawing it because I'm scared and I don't want to cut myself. So I did it. I did that. It's for my beginner water media class. For some reason, like you have to build a canvas. I don't know if it's because like the wood shop is like the newest facility on campus and they're like, Ooh, yeah, let's have our classes use it. <laughs> So, but that's it. I don't think I have to go back in there ever again. <laughs> I broke an L just right now, realizing, and I got myself a little cut. 
nothing too major, but I did it. Yes. So now I'm headed to the art building. I need to gesso this thing because I won't have enough gesso to get three coats of it. And they have like a huge little tub of it in the classroom. I'm gonna do that and then I need to send my prints up to get printed. I thought I would already be like, I, I, I like getting in there all early, printing it out and then leaving, but no, it didn't work out that way. That's okay. I'm just glad it's done. <laughs> Get some weight off my shoulders because that's really, it's really frustrating. I don't know. I've had a really rough time with this class. It's just my personal experience. I'm glad it's done. If nobody's in the classroom, then I'm going to film myself like guessing and stuff. It's still kind of like awkward to do all that in front of people. But yeah, I'm just glad it's done. I thought I would explain a little bit what gessoing is. Basically, anytime you're going to use like an acrylic paint um, or any kind of really thick paint, you want to prime your canvas or surface. That way, um, it doesn't like sink all the way into that surface. So that's what I'm doing here. But I didn't have time to film me like actually gessoing it. So these are just some little clips before somebody walked in. Um, and then I got my prints. And then I also wanted to explain a little bit about my painting. So for this project, we had to do a narrative self-portrait. So I wanted to paint myself. Um, and how I feel about the school year sometimes is that everything feels very overwhelming and stressful, um, which is what like the little homework papers are supposed to mimic. Um, I used acrylic for that. And I just wanted to show what the final outcome was that this canvas building was for.